Hey folks, I thought I'd do something. I've been seeing a whole lot of these people pushing travel trailers on YouTube. And I want to I want to help people out if I can because what you're seeing here and here and that pile right there is everything that was on this frame. Um This is a mallard made by Fleetwood, better known as the producers of metal covered firewood because that's about all this thing is now I want to show you something you know I'm gonna put my foot down right here on the frame and you can see here this is not a very big frame yes I've got big hands but this is just not a very big not very beefy I mean it's just piss um, the uh, the jacks on them are just as weak as you can get structurally. This is just unsound. Now, oddly enough, everything that's out here in the in the open that the buyer's gonna see, oh, they look so pretty. Looks like a nice hitch and beautiful propane tank holders and this real sweet little battery box and then the reality sets in. So I'm going to show you something here. There's the length of it. See my foot down here. And I'm just gonna give it a little shake. Now you tell me, that's some really built stuff, man. You look over here and you look at these outriggers. This is the outrigger. <laughs> that's supporting, that's supporting the outside of your trader walls. Um, it's just, just crap. Look at that. Everything that they do on these anymore is garbage. Um, this right here is a complete rot away. What you're seeing here and all of this is what this trailer was made of. Look at the rot. Look at the amount of rot. This trailer is a 2008 model trailer. So, you know, these trailer manufacturers are trying to turn out 25 trailers, 50 trailers a day. So what do they use? They use this crap, this mastic, to seal stuff with. Instead of using a liquid compound, it's a little more expensive. When I, when I say a little more expensive, I'm talking a dollar, man. They won't use it because this is easier and you can manufacture, you know, 50 trailers a day instead of 49. So what they're doing is they're shoving shit out under the roads. And if you doubt who made this, there's the proud company that made it, Fleetwood. And just look, look at the rot. Look at the rot. This is all garbage. I mean, this thing is put together with little tiny staples. They don't even want to use glue in it. It's all particle board. It's all shit. It's not like an old holiday rambler. I mean, look at this. Look at the rot. That's the cheapest Luan you could possibly buy. Look at the amount of rot for a trailer that this is new. And it didn't just have rot in one spot. A guy paid a guy paid $3,500 for this trailer at a at a uh, RV center. He literally fell through the damn floor, and he calls me up and says, "Hey, you you, you collect some old travel trailers from time to time?" And yes, I do. There's an old one there, and there's a couple out there that the towing guy drops off of my place so I can salvage them. But this is inexcusable. This is what you're paying $25,000 for, okay? This is shit. This is what people are buying in travel trailers today, and this is why the market is what it is. Look at this. Look at that. Total shit. That's your duct work. You wondering why it leaks? Look at all this crap here, how it's built. These people slam these together so fast that it don't even have a chance. It never had a chance. The stuff that's in them is the cheapest stuff that could possibly be found. Look at the insulation. There was like two thirds of this trailer didn't even have insulation. The walls were empty. That's the way it was made. You won't find this out until you buy one. Look at the rot. That's up here in the front near where the tongue's at. There's rot there. There's rot all in this whole floor everywhere and even the quality, the, even over here, the quality of this wood is so bad. 
It is so low of a quality that they won't even sell it to Home Depot. So you know how bad it is. See all that right there? That's an opposite side of the trailer. See all that right there? This thing here was literally made to die quickly. And if you look, even the bolts are grade five. Absolutely insane. Look at this Chinese made shit that they put on these trailers. Look at that, bent all to hell. That bent that way just by flipping the old junky floor off of here. That tells you something, don't it? So when you wanna buy a travel trailer, I just wanna give you guys a heads up. What you see right here, and, and if you think, oh, the roof was leaking, the roof was leaking, no, look, here's the trusses. There's the trusses right there, guys. There's no rod on them. There's no rod on the trusses. This is due to the shit they put it together with. All the walls leaked, all the windows leaked, everything in this trailer leaked, everything. Absolute crap. So between this pile, there's your floor, there's some of your internal walls, and there's my little car I cut in half, kind of cool, huh? Uh, hold the engine out of here. You can see it in one of my previous videos a year ago. Um, this thing is just shit. And this underliner that's supposed to last for 50 years. Hell, it ripped apart just taking this thing apart. I mean, it shredded itself. So before you go wasting your money, look for an Airstream to restore. Learn some skills. Push on the walls. You're going to buy a trailer. Go push on the walls. If you hear them crackle, that's just delamination. It's falling apart. Um, look and see if the tags on these axles are rated for what they're supposed to carry. These are Dexter axles, 2,800 pound max. 2,800 pound. There's drop axles. They're kind of cool, but 2,800 pound max. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for a 30-foot trailer, 5,600-pound capacity for a 30. Guess how much this trailer weighed? Guess what the door tag says on it? 5,300 pounds. Does that mean you can even put anything you own in it? Technically, no. So, trying to give you guys a heads up. 5,600 pounds of axles. <laughs> By Fleetwood. <laughs> How nice. So don't buy travel trailers unless you really, really check them out. And if you're smart, pull the windows out, reseal everything, everything before you dry, before you use one because they will rot. All right, guys, just wanted to help you out. That guy lost $3,000, fell through the floor, and it looked nice. Actually, interior was beautiful, but it was shit. All right, be good.